Okay, so I've received this package today. It's a uh, it's a spare 14 inch CRT uh, gaming TV that I've bought. Just in case anything was to happen to the Matsua, it means that instead of having to buy another TV and, and having to wait for it to come, um, I can just move the Matsua to one side, set this up, and I can be playing video games straight away, basically. Um, unfortunately, the box is like really kind of dented at the bottom, so it, you can see there as well. So it looks like as though the box has been dropped or something. So hopefully the CRT inside is uh, is fine. But yeah, let's open this up. So I bought this off eBay. So the TV inside is a Panasonic, I'm not sure what year it is, it looks like maybe the late 90s or early 2000s. The guy said that the TV has had minimal use. And here it is, well lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of shredded paper so hopefully that, it seems like this should have really cushioned the TV um, when this impact happened at the bottom well as long as it's this thick under the TV and yeah you can see got all the instructions as well with it okay so I've now got it on the floor so you can get a better look at it so uh, Got some more package in there, polystyrene. I think in the USA people call it styrofoam or something. We've got like these bubble bags and whatever. TV itself in bubble wrap, and we've got some more polystyrene on the screen there. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this out of the box and then I'll put the camera onto the tripod. All right, so I've got the TV out of the box. And yeah, it's done a really good job of packing this. You can see all the way around the TV, and these bubble bags, and just so much, so much uh, shredded paper. And we've got like more, we've got packing peanuts, more polystyrene under there. So these bubble bags I'm going to keep because I can use them myself when I'm selling things on eBay. Um, the rest of this is going to go in the trash. <clears throat> um, yeah, over here in the UK. We have like dedicated bins just for paper and cardboard. Um, you know, it's, it's all about recycling and whatever. The polystyrene just goes in the general rubbish. So I'm going to have to actually try and pick out all of the packing peanuts. Um, you know, get them all out. And any other kind of non paper items, get them all out of the paper. And then I can just like put the paper into the correct bin without anything else with it. Just mountains and mountains and mountains of shredded paper. That's how deep it goes. Alright, so let's unseal this. So there's two things that I look out for when buying a CRT off eBay. Um, and these seem to be common problems unless I was just very unlucky because I've experienced these two types of problems a few times in the past um, one of them is like a slightly squished screen so it might be kind of squashed that way a little bit and while most of the time it's not noticeable if you see something on the screen that you know is meant to be a proper circle like say a, a car tyre or whatever like you see in the side of a car the wheels will actually look a bit kind of oval, you know, and that's when it's really noticeable. Um, so when buying a CRT on eBay, I'll make sure that they have pictures of the TV switched on and there's something on the TV which I can use to kind of gauge whether the screen is squished or not. The other problem is, uh, is, is when the, the picture is kind of slanted. I think it's something to do with, I think it's called the yoke on the, on the back of the tube. It needs turning or whatever. 
Um, and that's a lot more easy to spot because when you see the picture on the TV, especially if there's like a straight line on the screen, you can just you can see whether it's straight or slanted or whatever. So that's another thing that I look out for as well. There's probably other problems to look out for as well, which I don't know about. I'm no expert on CRTs at all, by any means. Let's see. Uh, TV does look a, did look a bit dirty in the pictures, but it should clean up fine. So the TV is now being revealed. So Panasonic. I may actually just start using this as the main gaming TV and keep the Matsui as a spare one because this has got a headphone socket, the Matsui one doesn't and it's quite important for when I'm like playing video games at night because I don't I can't really have the, vo the volume up that loud because I don't want to disturb anyone so I've got to have the volume really quiet but if I can plug my headphones into the TV I can have the, uh, the volume as high as I want So far it's looking fine. I was a bit worried that maybe the bottom of it might be might be cracked because of the, like the massive kind of dents on the bottom of the box. Yeah, I think he has. I think he has actually cleaned this before sending it to me. It does have like little white specks on it, which are probably specks of paint. But they, I'm able to remove them with with my uh, fingernail, so that's not really a problem. Okay, unfortunately, I've I have spotted some damage. When I was lifting the TV up, there's a bit of broken plastic there. So here it is, out of its wrapping. There's your power button there. Don't know what that is, STR. F, not sure what that is. And then you've got down and up for the ch channels, TV slash AV. Then you've got these two things, can't remember what they're called. Usually um, these two sockets are accompanied with the a red one but this one doesn't have one so V for video, A for audio there, headphone socket, speaker. So here is the back of the TV now on some uh, portable CRTs you've got these handles that you can put your fingers under to lift the TV up now because CRTs are now very old I'm worried that the plastic may have gone a bit brittle over the years so I don't really like to lift up the TV with all the weight of the TV going onto this plastic that my hand is underneath. So I'll always use my other hand at the same time under the TV just to give it some extra support because I'm worried that the plastic might crack or whatever. I doubt it will do but I guess you never know. There's some more detail on the back. Manufactured in the UK. Seems quite common for a portable CRTs to be manufactured in the UK for some reason because hardly anything is manufactured in the UK so it's kind of strange how it's uh, quite common for CRTs, portable ones, to be uh, made in the UK. There's the, uh, the model number TX14S2T. The 14 stands for 14 inch uh, screen. So yeah you got your, your RF uh, socket there and a SCART socket and just there uh, the plastic something's broken off I think and it might be this I think this is actually broken off the underneath of the TV because it seems because there's, there's a small part underneath the TV that's broken and this seems to fit on it so I don't think this has come from this bit but it's not a big deal so I'll just give a, a quick look at what's inside this uh, this bag so we've got the uh, the remote for it, which I'm sure is the original remote. The guy even told me that the batteries inside are almost dead. Then we've got this other remote called Tevion or Tevion there. I don't know if it's something to do with digital TV or whatever. And we've got this so. So this has uh, Tevion or Tevion on it as well, 
and you plug it into the back of the TV there. So, not really sure what that's for. So let's just have a look at the uh, the paperwork there. So this is a, a guarantee for it. Got a service card there. I'm wondering if there's a year on any of this. Another guarantee there. Quick setup guide. So it's, it's really nice to have all this stuff with the uh, with the TV. Here's your operating instructions. Yeah, the, the TV is pretty old because like here it's showing how you hook up a VCR to the TV rather than a DVD player. So it's, this is probably before the uh, the very late 90s. Because I think DVD players, I think they first came out maybe 1999 in the UK or 2000, 2001. Not exactly sure. I'm guessing I'm guessing the TV is probably from 95 or 96 or 97. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. I'm going to test the TV out by uh, playing one of my all-time favorite games on it, which is GTA 3. So, let's turn it on. Turn on the PS2. Change it to AV. So I've been using the TV for a short while now and pretty much straight away I noticed two issues with it. The first one is that there's a really small black dot on the screen. It's not going to show up on camera. I think it might be a burnt phosphor or something like that. I tried looking it up online. But whatever it is, it's on the other side of the glass inside the tube. So I don't really think there's anything that can be done about that. And it may not seem like that much of an issue because it's such a small black dot. But I can just notice it all the time while I'm playing a game on this TV. It's like it's very hard to unnotice and it just bothers me. And the other problem, which is a really weird problem and I've never experienced this on any other CRT before. And that is while I'm playing a game on this, whenever I move my eyes, you, you kind of get like this wire mesh effect. Kind of kind of looks like a mesh screen. It kind of fades in and then fades out again, like very, very quickly. It's kind of faint, but I really don't like that issue either. I'm not really sure if there's anything that can be done about that. It could just be that that's how these TVs are, like it's not a fault. Maybe it's something, maybe it's something some people notice and other people don't. I'm not really sure. So, unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to use this TV for playing video games on because it's going to be difficult to enjoy them with those two issues. So I did contact the seller and he said he'll give me a full refund if I post the TV back to him. Now I really didn't want to go through all that hassle so we both agreed on me getting half of the money back and I keep the TV. So I may actually just use this as like a kitchen TV for watching stuff on while I'm doing chores in the kitchen like cooking and the washing up and whatever. Those two issues, they won't really be that much of a problem then because I won't be as close to the TV so they're going to be pretty much unnoticeable. Or I could actually use this TV as a, uh, a CRT to, to practice on because I do have a few CRTs which I've got you know, various issues that I do want to fix and before I try to fix them I could practice on this TV. So. Unfortunately, things haven't really worked out that well with this, with this TV. I mean, apart from those two small issues, it does seem like a decent TV. 
So at least in my experience, it's incredibly difficult getting a hold of a CRT which doesn't have any issues. Um, that could either be because I'm really unlucky, or it could be like that for most people. It could be because all CRTs are very old now, like even the newest ones are very old now, at least in the UK anyway, because they stopped being made in 2008. So that will make the, the newest ones about 13 years old, I think. So, oh well, it's just one of those things really. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.